Okay, I'm gonna make a little video on bit sets, uh, screwdriver bits, and all your different kind of attachments and drill bits. And basically, what well, I have daily on any job that I go through. Then I have all my sets of drills that stay in my truck and come with me on my jobs. Uh, the port of cable, craftsman's, set of Makita, set of rigid, and I have a couple extra little black and decker in the rigid impact driver I keep in my shop. Um, but let's start off with the best bits to use and to have are probably, in my opinion, are these Milwaukee ones here, the silver tip shockwave 50 times the life. Um, as you see, I just have a whole bunch of them. These were actually a set here. This one and this one came together in a set, $40. I also have this little Milwaukee one here. And this one has different types of bits, like specialty bits. As you can see, like those flathead ones there. Um, it has a nice extension in here. This is kind of like the DeWalt. This is actually the only Milwaukee extension with a screw guide that I've found in a set. None of these Milwaukee sets. And I have here two, four, six, seven sets. Um, and none of them include this bit holder, which is probably the best one I think they make. They give you this bit holder. This is the most common one everybody has with their Milwaukee kits. Then, of course, if you buy the a lot of the newer kits with the 50 time bits in them, you'll get the, uh, and this set, not these, these three here I added in. Uh, this two and a half Phillips and this two and a half Torx. I added this in with this. With these two sets right here. Just because it had empty spaces. I want to complete the set. But as you see I've got random other bits. That I just bought separately. In packages. And I threw them in my. My most used four Milwaukee. Um, bit sets that I keep with me. Uh, these ones here. These ones here. I just. I leave the, these are in my shop. I leave these in my shop. These two sets of Milwaukee's I keep in my port of cable bag. Uh, then we can move on to the, the wall bit sets. Now, the best, best, best bits the wall actually makes are these here and this clear top. And if you could see, they're longer. These bits are actually longer than all your average bits that come with any DeWalt, like these uh, impact ones, these impact ones with the little flex zone here. These are the, uh, I think, max grip. These are the max fit. Uh, these are the regular DeWalt. This is a regular DeWalt bit holder they give you in most of their sets, as you see. I got one in this set here. Put that back. I got that one in that set there. I got this one in this set here. I got this one in this set here. Um, but I don't like these. And I don't re recommend you use any of these DeWalt's for, as you can see, this one. Look at the end of this. Look at this bit holder. 
how torn up it is. And if you look inside of there, you could see how stripped out that is. Because I don't know. These these they come in the impact uh ready bit and the bit sets with the little magnetic tool here, but Every time I, I, I've stripped out and broken, I've lost the sleeve right here on a lot of them. Um, then the inside, this piece, either this aluminum underneath the, the screw guide in here, the main part that holds the bit, this is like aluminum, like irony aluminum. So once you lose this sleeve, even when you don't lose the sleeve, if you drive, if, if you try to drive, I would say about... 25 30 screws at a time anything over two inches you're gonna strip the inside of these the walls they're, they're either gonna crack or they're gonna strip right out your bit will get stuck in there you have to pull the bit out with a pair of pliers so those ones eh, i don't like i mean i like them for little stuff but anything over a two inch screw i highly recommend you don't use th this type of bit to drive you know, three inch deck screws, it's just gonna break. Um, these bit holders that come with a lot of the new DeWalt sets. Now these are magnetic holders. They don't have a little ring inside of here. A lot of bit holders have like a little retaining ring in there that help retain the bit. I know all these, all them, um, all these Milwaukee ones. Any kind of Milwaukee one you get, even this. Even this long, the 12 inch, I think this is, I don't know, 12 or 16 inch bit holder. This has the, this has a little, it has a magnet and a retaining ring. So they really hold the bits really, really well. Um, this actual DeWalt one that comes with the 50 times bits is probably my favorite screw guide out of all the DeWalt's because this is all solid metal even though one thing also about these is these are pressed in if you could see that this is like pressed in to the metal i mean this is gonna last forever though i don't think this one's gonna break or strip out i mean you really really have to overdrive it to actually probably break that one so this is actually since they started making these DeWalt sets I really didn't like the Walt bits too much I've actually only bought all of mostly all of these sets as you can see this is an older set because I got a rust rusty uh things are rusted in there which I barely ever use those because I use mostly my Milwaukee ones um these this bit holder I mean this one comes with a nice, you pull the little lever down, and it pops a bit. But your bit doesn't go flying, as you see. There's a magnet in there. There's a magnet in the end that actually catches the bit, and then it pops right out. Also, that's a magnet screw holder on the tip. So you could actually slide that up like that when you're doing drywall and stuff. It'll actually sink the screws at the right depth for drywall. And then you, it's kind of hard, but you pop it back down. There it goes. You pop it back down and it just lets a little more if you want to sink the screws deeper in another kind of material. Love this bit holder. This is a good one. I use it a lot. Then I have that one, of course. I think, yeah, that came with this, this set here. And this is actually a swivel. This one swivels around so you kind of get in like a tight place around the little corner with your drill. I like this bit holding a lot. Got it back in there. That's a good one. That's all solid metal, as you can see. It's nice and thick. That's a good one, DeWalt gives you. Here's another one of these silver DeWalt ones now. Because I have so many sets. I got. Here's a DeWalt one. That's actually a longer one they give you in this set. This set I got from 
tractor supply. Most of these other sets here come from Lowe's. This DeWalt set here with all these nice long bits and a nice ratcheting T-handle. Um, of course, some of these slots were empty here also. So uh, some of these are my bits from here down. I just added in there, but this has, this is, makes a nice Allen, uh, it's got all the Allen keys, so it makes a nice, it's got metric, and that's a he, then it has a couple of flats, number one, and two number two Phillips, that's a really good screwdriver for getting into, you know, any type of screws that are in cars, um, in the steering columns or whatever, and the screws deep. That's an awesome set for that. And a lot of other things you can fit that in. Electronics and stuff like that, too. Um, yeah, but these are actually, I think, the best, best bit holders. If I didn't say it already, that the wall makes. Because this is actually, if you look at that, that's all. This is all one solid. And it's pretty heavy. This is all one solid um, piece here. The only thing pushed in and glued in is the little magnet, which is actually pretty strong. It holds the bit and the screw pretty good. This is the longer one that came with this set that I got from, uh, I got this set from Tractor Supply, like I said. And it was 22 bucks, so I had to grab it. I've seen this in Lowe's, and I've seen this in a couple other random, um, like, little uh, lumber stores or little hardware stores like in town ones and they sell this thing for like $35 and up in the smaller stores Lowe's I think it was like 30 35 and Lowe's so when I seen it at Tractor Supply which it was regular $30 I'm pretty sure at, or 28 bucks it was at Tractor Supply which is a couple dollars cheaper than uh Lowe's and the other stores I seen it for 22 bucks the last one and it has impact sockets in it. Half inch and three eighths. It's got the adapter for your impact wrench. It's got the only thing they didn't include in this set. And I like them because they're nice impact heavy duty uh, bits. And I used them a couple of times already and they seem to not even have a mark on them. But um, I forgot what I was gonna say now. Oh, it doesn't include any, that's that's one thing about the wall bits I don't understand. Um, so far, out of all these, the waltz with the, with the max grip, I think, or tough grip, that's what it's called, with the tough grip uh, tips, they hardly ever give you any uh, number 20 or 25 Torx bits. So that's kind of like... If you look at this set here, and they they don't really give you, they never really give you too many bits in these sets to start with. It's like, I don't know, you don't get too many bits. I like the, I like this screwdriver holder here. This actually goes, which I'm still looking for, this bit holder actually locks the bit in real good. It's impact. It's all solid metal, as you can see. Nothing's pressed in there i mean this thing feels like it could be i don't know aluminum yeah i think it's aluminum i'm not going to say it's plastic because it's got a cold metal feel to it so i don't think it's plastic could be plastic though but it feels like it's like an aluminum but i cannot seem to find the the wall screwdriver because this you could actually take right out and unchuck it from your you could unchuck this from here, quarter inch uh, chuck on your impact drivers, and you take it right out and throw it in the hand screwdriver if you have to. The DeWalt screwdriver, and I'm pretty sure it's a ratcheting screwdriver. It even says on here, see, there's the screwdriver right there that says goes with this. But. Like I said, I've been looking, I've been looking everywhere for that screwdriver, 
that goes with that, and I can't seem to find it anywhere. So, out of the wall bits, like I was getting to anyways, uh, these are the absolute best, best bits I've used ever at the walls. These here, I don't know about these now. Uh, I don't even think I... These are actually the leftover ones, and it's funny that I'm talking about it now, because these are actually leftover ones from a whole complete set of the wall ones that I've had before, but I literally shattered in my impact driver every single bit. Flatheads, Phillips heads, the long ones, the short ones. I've actually shattered all the tips in my impact driver. So I don't really, and it was driving, I don't know, but it had to be like two and a half screws or larger. They heat up once, you know, once you're driving so many two and a half, three inch fasteners. All that heat from that screw, if you ever drove a three and a half screw just one time, drove it in and pulled it back out for any reason, and you held the screw, the thing is burning hot. So what happens is when you're using these, or any bits, any bits, I don't care what brand they are. They could be Hitachi, they could be, I have Cobalt ones here, I have uh, Craftsman's Impact, regular Craftsman bits, um, these are all Craftsman too. This is a little Craftsman. As you can see, ratchet and screwdrivers. Lost one of mine. I lost my half inch. I have no clue where the half inch uh, nut driver went out of that set. But I don't really use that for once in a while. I don't, I use that on little stuff. I don't use that for my like everyday work. I grab that once in a while and use it. But the most durable bits are probably this set of DeWalt, the newest, the newest ones they made with the clear case. These DeWalt ones are good impact and they're pretty tough. And these DeWalt impact ones are great for every day on these job. Um, um, you know. Now, as for all of any of these, these silver ones here. The ones with the black tips. I know they grab the screw and they hold the, the bits and the screw. Whatever you're doing, they hold them really good. The screw seems to stay on there. And but you could only I, I say use these for any type of fasteners or screws under two inches. Don't try to use these in your impact driver if you're gonna be driving 50 or more screws or fasteners over two inches because they will absolutely any type of these these i've shattered many of these um as for milwaukee now uh, these are absolutely i think milwaukee is my favorite favorite bits and the most durable in my experience and i've drove as you can see by the screws here they're filthy i've even took the the plastic band off of it. some of these I've used it I've used them so much that the freaking thing heated up and the little band popped off but this is like one of my first Milwaukee actual sets that I've bought one of my first sets and I still have it with the and I bought it because of this long extension they don't even make these no more with this uh with the silver with the silver on them they're all red now like this one, this is what the newer ones look like. But, I mean, this thing is in, came in handy a lot. This is not a Milwaukee product, neither. This I just have. I just have this thrown in the case for whatever reason, because it's a little right angle attachment. Here's another one of my first Milwaukee sets, as you can see. A lot of them bits have some wear on it. I mean, look at the bit holder. But, shit, this bit holder is probably... <laughs> This one Milwaukee bit holder, and look at how much wear I put on that right there. I mean, there's literally a lip on this from, from, from grinding this up against things for so many years. I think I've had this for like, I don't know, five or six years, these these two sets. Um, but I've, I've only snapped one. Milwaukee one of these and these aren't even the strongest Milwaukee tips 
I've literally only shattered out of all these bits in the time I've had them and used them. Especially these, these, and this set here. This set I got, nah, I don't know, not too long. These three sets actually, this one, this one came together, and this one I just bought recently in this little Milwaukee, little electrical uh, tool. And you can put the bit in here and actually use this as a screwdriver, which I don't know. I think it's a little flimsy. I mean, if you gotta do something small, it's great. But I don't like how wide it is. It's like big and bulky. I'd rather just take one of these bits and throw it on one of my Milwaukee screwdrivers and use it. But I've only sh ever shattered one Milwaukee 30 times. And these are all 30 times. Uh, well, this one says absorbs three times more torque versus any other impact bits. And, of course, these are Shockwave Advantage. These are Shockwave Advantage. These are they're all basically Shockwave Advantage. Um, these, these are all 30 times. This set, this set, this set, and this set, and this set. Those are all the 30 times the life uh, bits, which, I mean, 30 times the life I've... Uh, got so many sets I barely use. I mean, I just grab random sets. So, in other words, I don't wear them all out. Mostly, all my any bit that's in any of these cases, even though they got like you can see that there, even though oh, though that oh, they got a little bit of wear on them. Well, a lot of wear on that. Doesn't matter. It still works. Doesn't strip out my screws and it drives the screw all the way down. And the screws still don't slip off them, those bits. So until that happens, I keep them in the case. As soon as the, as soon as the bit starts slipping out of a, a fastener or a screw, I just throw it away. Or throw it in my toolbox or something. If I'm on a job, throw it away. Because I'll just go buy the little packs and replace which I have somewhere over here okay in this bag here we go I just buy the little packs these are actually the new this focus is here this is actually the new 50 times uh bits you can kind of see it there so I have the little one inch number twos to keep in my bag and then on this side it's another 50 times these are the number two Phillips same thing but these are two inch ones so I like to keep these I mean these will last me those will those will last for forever forever those bits and I bought tons of them, not realizing how durable they were at first. Because I actually bought those two little, uh, I bought those two little bits so I could fill these, all these empty slots up in all my, uh, bit sets here. And then, even in my Craftsman, oh, uh, I don't know where it is, I lost it. I had a, I actually had a Milwaukee. <laughs> One of these, one of these uh, number two Phillips inside my Craftsman bit holder. But, I mean, these Craftsman bits, believe it or not, they're a little rusty because, <laughs> I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but they're a little bit rusty because I had them outside yesterday. I was working in the rain. It started pouring on me. And I didn't realize it. I didn't dry the case out. It's actually still wet in there. But I uh, just closed the case overnight. Then this morning when, when I opened this case up, it was all, all wet. And I mean, the rust comes right off. It's just surface rust, so I don't care. Just durable bits anyway. The craftsmen are pretty good. I was, I'm, I'm pretty surprised by all the new line of craftsmen. Um, I did buy this 
big set right here because it came with all these drill bits. It came with some one inch bits. It came with all these bits, nut drivers. Oh, there's a Makita Gold in there. But came with a pretty decent bit holder there. Uh, some spade bits, some wood bits, some uh, some uh, mason bits, which if you see this one, look at this one. Okay, so I will say I like the bits, the sets of bits, but this is one time trying to drill into brick and I literally melted the whole top of the bit right off. So, that didn't work that way, but that's okay. The day I used that, I, I luckily I had a 532nd, uh, as you see, I have all these in my Milwaukee case. So, I had a 532nd, here goes one right here. I had a, uh, what is this one? Uh, this is the, this is one of the ones I'm pretty sure that comes, these come with the screws. The Tapcon screws. Those are Tapcon bits. Which actually I think Tapcon. Because they make the fasteners. They do make the best. Mason bits. And Bosch makes some good ones too. Um, I think Milwaukee makes some good ones too. But I do have some Bosch. As a matter of fact. Here's a. 5 sixteenths. These are the Bosch ones here. And as Bosch said, they don't look, they don't look that durable. They look cheap. They kind of do look cheap, but hey, this Bosch one, that Bosch one there, I drilled a hole in the concrete with, and it's still, it's still working, and it outlasted, it outlasted these Craftsman ones. But basically, these bits I don't use on a daily basis. These Craftsman bits I don't use. On a daily basis, I just have them because if I'm doing little light, like the socket set comes with some too. So, and this set comes with the same ones. All these, I don't recommend using an impact drivers or your drill driver or anything like that. You're going to break them. You're going to strip them out. Don't try putting in over a two-inch screw with any of these bits. I don't care what kind of screw it is because... You'll either, you're going to break, you're going to strip them right out. They're no good for that. In my experience, I've, I've broken so many bits like that. Unless they're impact ready, don't ruin your bits. Save, save them for smaller stuff. Like if you're working on electronics or you're taking screws out of your car or what have you. Or you're, you know, repairing a tool, one of your tools. Or something like that. You throw this, use these bits for a small, like something like this. I use those. I'd use those bits in something like this. This cheap little Ryobi <laughs> three point. This is probably almost any antique, but anyways, I do use it once in a while. But that's the only thing I use any kind of these silver. Regular duty, I guess you call them, or small light duty. I don't even think I wouldn't even call these medium duty bits. Um, then I do have the Bosch, quite a bit of Bosch. Other these are the these are really good. These Bosch bits, they say ten times the life, just like Makita. But I'll tell you what, these Boshes are a hundred times better than these Makitas. These Makitas, I bought this set because, of course, I got the Makita little subcompact drill and impact driver here. So, I only bought these Makitas just to kind of test them out. And they are expensive. This thing was like, well, I got that on sale, actually, for, I think I got it on sale for $25. And they want $30 for this set of Makita. This Makita set of, of bits. And it doesn't even give you a... You don't even get a flathead, like no, not even a quarter inch or a little bit smaller flathead. Um, 
I haven't used this yet, but this is a Makita socket adapter for your impact drill. But it's a swivel, that's why it's shaped like that. That's the only reason why I bought it. So when I put my sockets on here and I want a little swivel. And of course I bought all same thing with the Milwaukee's. I buy the little packs of because I know I kinda had a feeling when I bought this. I had a feeling when I bought this case that these bits were gonna wear out, especially when I seen the 10 times the life. I mean, it says, I don't know, it says impact bits, but these I would use like medium duty. I wouldn't try driving a bunch of three and a half inch screws, three inch, two, even two and a half inch screws or longer than two and a half inch screws. If I'm driving over 20 something screws, I wouldn't even use these bits. They'd I'd be taking them, throwing them, you know, changing them out every 10 screws and throwing them away. Uh, these Porter Cable ones, these are impact ready bits, but they're not that great. As you see, I use this one here. I think I use this one on like five or six, if I remember correctly. I was fixing somebody's deck, putting screws in somebody's deck, and I just use this bit here I'm trying to get it in the light on like five or six um two two and a half inch deck screws and that was it for that one <laughs> put that right put that right back in the case i mean i barely use these now these porter cable uh these porter cable bits and basically the same place makes all the bits you know what i'm saying uh they're all made in China. They're all made in China. Every single brand. If if you look at them, they all say made in China on them. Milwaukee's, Porter Cables, uh, Makita, Bosch, Hitachi, which I've actually never used these Hitachis yet. These are I bought I bought these like a year ago. But I bought these because I bought these because they have nice, tiny little torques. And I forget what number. This is a T15. I, oh, and I, I bought it because, actually, I, no, I didn't yet. I actually bought it because I like the, uh, the magnetic. This got a magnetic ride uh, drive, too. So you put your... Your bit on there, same thing. It won't let you uh, sink your sheet sheetrock uh, screws through the paper because it's got that little magnetic end on it. So that's one of the reasons why I actually bought this. And then I totally forgot that that is the reason why I bought it. Oh, and because I needed all these different size. I like all these different size flat heads. You got look at the look how small this Allen key is. I mean, this is, 